uh, Canberra this afternoon on uh, Crookwall Pacing Cup Day. Kybe and uh, Bo, the first, the uh, favourite for race one, and they're close to a jump. Is set, light off and racing. And uh, in the middle of the track, Lormar Vic away quickly with final ambitions. Zambezi Moonshine showing good speed as well. The favourite Kybe and Bowes begun quickly from the second line. Then that'll be the day. Gold Ribbon getting away quickly from the second line. Out uh, wide early, Belly Button going back towards the rear with Problem Sun. Around the first corner and Zambezi Moonshine held the lead. Narrowly from final ambition, Kybe and Bow. has got a great run through to third. The leader's back and Lormar Vic in the centre. Gold Ribbon caught wide going forward as they can run down the main stretch from that'll be the day problem son Zamba a superb Tiffany is third last from Billy Button who's gone badly off stride and tailed off Lydian Francis past the judge with two to run now and Gold Ribbon got to the front with uh, short of a mile to run turning into the back he heads off Zambezi Moonshine Kybe and Bo third the pegs and final ambition caught without cover then Luama Vic outside problem son that'll be the day covering up superb Tiffany and the two tailed off a Billy Button and Lillian Francis sweeping down the back straight a lap and a half from home now speed slows up and Gold Ribbon the front runner over Zambezi Moonshine third without cover final ambition then Kybe and Bo pegged away Lorma Vic the outsider problem son that'll be the day covering up superb Tiffany Billy Button is making some ground but the task looks hopeless and ditto for Lillian Francis past the kilometre mark now a thousand from home and Gold Ribbon shows the way clear by four metres four metres to Zambezi Easy moonshine, then Kybe and Bo third as they swing for the bell. Final ambition caught without cover on his back, Lormar Vic. Buried away, problem son, that'll be the day about to get moving. Over superb Tiffany, Billy Button has tacked on and tailed off Lillian Francis. But down to the judge. Bell ringing, 800 metres from home now and uh, in front, Gold Ribbon shows the way from Zambezi Moonshine final ambition is uh, one out further out, Lorma Vic, that'll be the day starting a run, Kybe and Vo now held up but getting one off from Problem Sun, well back, superb Tiffany Belly Button and Lillian Francis but Gold Ribbon on her way home 600 out, out by 4 metres to final ambition, struggling Lorma Vic is wide, Kybe and Bo going well in the centre but can't get clear from Zambezi Moonshine, that That'll be the day running on from Problem Sun and then Superb Tiffany, but getting past the quarter pole now off the back. And Gold Ribbon still four metres in front of Kybe and Bo about to get into the clear and looks the danger from Final Ambition running on. That'll be the day. And Problem Sun running into a place but swinging for home. And Kybe and Bo put the head in front now of Gold Ribbon running on Problem Sun, Final Ambition and Lorma Vic. But Kybe and Bo, the favourites, got the first all parceled up. Sprinting away now gets six, eight metres in front of Gold Ribbon. Final ambition or run third. But Kybe and Bo wins it well from Gold Ribbon. Third final ambition just in front of Problem Sun. Lorma Vic, superb Tiffany, that'll be the day. Zambezi Moonshine a long way back to Lillian Francis and Billy Button. <laughs> OK, let's move on to uh, race number three at the coast and uh, the ratings here and number seven, Sahara South. To the favourite, drawn barrier five. They're close to a start here, race two. Nice line. Light off and racing down on the inside. Artie's made away fairly with the first starter, Panama, uh, I should say, uh, Scooter Trice. And Scooter Trice goes to the lead from Panamax. Artie's boy third getting through quickly, Kel Burney. Wide on the first corner is Blue Jeans and then Mazungu, who's at midfield. Behind him, Lift to Tell. Then Spider from Mars, who's off stride on the first corner. As you do is well back. And Kitty Rainbow, slow to get going, is tailed off. Settling down though on the first starter. Scooter Trice shows the way, a lap and three quarters out from Panamax sitting up second and Artie's mate behind the leader third. Here's Lift to Tell getting going early in the race. He's uh, moving up to sit outside the leader. Kill Burney is uh, midfield the outside of Mazungu. Then blue, blue Jeans, a break in the field too as you do. Covered on the outside now by Spider from Mars and uh, Kitty Rainbow is uh, making up ground the last of them. On the side swinging past the 1100 and uh, in uh, light rain. Scooter Trice shows the way over uh, Kill, uh, Lift to Tell who gets up second. Artie's mate behind the leader and 1-1 now. Panamax as the bell sounds. Mazungu's three back the inside of Kill Burney. Then as you 
do locked up inside of blue jeans and the last pair are Kitty Rainbow and Spider from Mars. First quarter 33.2, the second 32.6. A half mile from home now and it's Scooter Trice calling the shots. Over Lift to Tell second and Artie's mate third. Panamax has had a nice run, 1-1 one, one over Mazungu who'll need luck. Over Kilburnie travelling well from As You Do. Blue jeans, Kitty Rainbow and Spider from Mars. But 550 out now and uh, Scooter Trice shows the way. Clear over Lift to Tell, then Artie's mates. Panamax about to hook out. Mazungu one off, still held up from Kilburnie. Blue jeans and As You Do next. But past the quarter in uh, 31.4 and Scooter Trice still leading. Three metres to Lift to Tell. Artie's mate next. Panamax can't improve. Mazungu in trouble. Kilburnie can't, uh, can't win. And further back, Blue jeans, but Scooter Trice. The one to beat on the corner as they wheel. Two and a half metres to the good of Lift to Tell. Then uh, a fall on the corner in trouble Artie's boy also Panamax running on Kilburnie but Scooter Trice the first starter is holding on flying at him Kilburnie Scooter Trice was going to hold the lead though and Scooter Trice beats Kilburnie second Artie's mate third driver did a good job to stay on board over Blue Jeans Mazungu then uh, Panamax with a driver holding the uh, driverless horse lift to tell well back as you do and also Spider from Mars well, a fall on the, uh, the home turn, I think it was Lift to Till that uh, came to grief, but uh, Scooter Trice has won this number two, having its first start for uh, Neil Day. Kel Burney, number 10, has run on for second, and number one, Artie's mate will hold third, but uh, quite a bit of interference. Just as they swung for home, it seemed as though uh, Lift to Till and Artie's boy got caught up. OK, 2.10, 1 there. Scooter Tross. <coughs> too, too good there. I would tell 10, Kel, Kel Burney, 1, Artie's mate. Rose Hill Garden on a windy day in Sydney. Uh, Damavand at $4.90. Let fly 7.30. Look for a star at uh, Evens. Larry Cassie on this uh, two-year-old. A 9.20 for Mr Crown. Beat the curfews. 27. Sale of the century. 12. Ignational at 77. Oarsman at 80. 46. The 9. Big Doug. 59. 88. The 11. Mr Spielberg. 99. And Stylish Crown. 25. Moving in well there at uh, Rose Hill. Now a Chuka to uh, join us for race number two. Uh, Ballet News 31, 15 for Floating Gardens, Gypsy Melody, 860, Infamous Bell at $4.80. Uh, Cousite at 31, 13 the 7. $2.20 for Oxygen uh, Chief, Thief, <laughs> and The Promise Road, $6. The tips here from Adam are 9, 5, 12. Let's head out to uh, Rose Hill Gardens. Terry Bailey joins us for the calls today. Good to have you with us, Terry. And a very good afternoon to Michelle. For the first time today, it's a very windy old day out here, Michelle. To our sky racing viewers from Rose Hill Gardens, as Mr Spielberg is the last one to move in, look for a star, the favourite, $2.10. And we're just about ready to see action. First of the day, the track in good order. And they're all set. Dama Van, the inside gate. Starter has a look down the line. Very windy conditions and it's just off putting to a couple of these gallopers. As the gates open, Mr Doug very slow to go at the start. Mr Spielberg away quickly and Primero began fast. Primero leads, let fly three out and beat the curfew going up in the gold colours blue cap. Wide out Mr Spielberg from Damavan. They were followed by Mr Crown. Look for a star's back and wide. Then the grey stylish crown. Two lengths away, National from Motivate. Orsman's a long way back with Big Doug and Sale of Century last. Crossing Primero lead comfortably at the 700 mark. Mr Spielberg rushing up and in the centre is Let Fly. Two lengths away making ground quickly now is Mr Crown. Look for a star's right off the track going forward from Stylish Crown. Damavand in traffic beat the curfew on the fence from Ignational Motivate. Sale of Centuries back near last with Orsman and Big Doug in the straight and Mr Spielberg taken on by Mr Crown who had raced to the front. Look for a star's coming right down the outside from Let Fly. No run beat the 
the curfew and sale of Century and Nick National from a long way back. 2.50 to go and still Mr Crown in front. On the outside trying hard look for a star and here is Sale of Century with the big guns. Sale of Century mowing down Mr Crown with 50 to run. He's come from last. Sale of Century hits the lead and he's a promising horse this bloke. Sale of Century's beaten Mr Crown and look for a star. No luck. Then came Making Ground Motivate from Damadan. They were followed behind those by Let Fly. Then came Making Ground Out Wide Big Doug. Musical Curfew, National Stylish Crown, Oarsman Primero and Mr Spielberg last. Very, very promising horse. Sale of Century, the winner. He put up a sensational run really on debut. He's come in late on the tote. When you read the paper tomorrow morning, you'll be very happy to have backed him on the TAB. He's paid $10.80 for the win and has come from stone motherless last before the bend and has won, pricks his ears near the line and wins, in my opinion at least, by a good horse the way he went about his work today. Uh, he's a very smart galloper and has raced home to win and win well. Second prize in the race going to Mr Crown, who's run a good race for Darren Beedman after looming up, probably got to the front earlier than Darren would have liked, but he was wide and didn't have any option up his sleeve. And look for a star again, victim of circumstances, never ever on the track. And ridden by Larry Cassidy has finished in third position. Sale of Century, the winner of the race, is a two-year-old bay gilding by Prized. Now, he's a son of Chris S., the, uh, the son of the great Roberto. He was a very good winner of the, uh, the Breeders' Turf Cup at Group 1 le uh, level, along with a couple of other very prestigious races and was placed at uh, the top level. He's out of Trio, a Deputy Governor Mayor, and she's a three-quarter blood sister to the outstanding New Zealand Galloper Sprint Miler in Hero. So it comes from a very good family. Is raced by uh, Rod and Ron Duffersey and their wives along, in fact, that's it, the, uh, the two Rods, Rod and Ron, I should say, the two R's. Good day, Terry, thank you. Yes, sale of the century. Might do one for the little black book. Our next race is at uh, Achuka. Oxygen Thief, the, uh, the nine. Five infamous bill, four dollars and sixty cents. Popular last twenty-four, perfect miss twelve. Prince Rene seven seventy. Joan of Arc four. Best report seven dollars and sixty cents. Ten to nine. Bijou's best thirty-nine. On this Sunday afternoon, stay with us. Lots more. Light off and racing down on the inside. Nuclear bound away quickly with uh, Sky Racer. Popular last showing speed. Wider out Prince Rennie and Joan of Arc, but nuclear bound the favourite. No uh, trouble in heading off Sky Racer as the corner comes up. Popular last third. Wide is Prince Rennie, even wider Joan of Arc pushing on. Then Perfect Miss, well back at best report. Bijou's best and Winsome Mickey out to the tail. Nuclear bound led them. Joan of Arc had a bite for the lead, couldn't get there. Now restrains. Sky Racer is going to get the, uh, le the leaders back, then uh, Prince Reddy dropping into the 1-1 one -one over Popular Lass. Perfect Mist is next from uh, going forward, best report, and uh, two are well back, Bijou's best and also win some Mickey. They've gone quickly as they uh, get to the corner. 1,200 out now, nuclear bound, slowing up in front over Joan of Arc. Sky Racer has the leaders back and Prince Rennie won one. Over popular last then, best report. Perfect Miss Racing Solo, last of the main division. And the two in trouble were Bijou's best and Winsome Mickey. Turning the uh, corner now for the bill. 900 out the quarter in a speedy 30.2. And nuclear bound trying to get a mid-race breather over Joan of Arc, setting up second. Prince Rennie's had a nice run over Sky Racer is getting a lovely set behind the leader. Popular last three back the inside of Best Report. Then Perfect Mist as they run to the back over Bijou's Best tacking on and win some Mickey. But 700 out now and Nuclear Bound. Jenkins sitting quietly a metre and a half to the good of Joan of Arc who's worked. Sky Racer tucked up the leaders back from Prince Rennie who hasn't pulled out yet. Best Report on his back from Popular Lass. Perfect Mist and tailed off Bijou's Best and win some Mickey. But getting to the quarter now and Nuclear Bound. Still held together. Leads a metre to Joan of Arc. Sky Racer third. Prince Rennie is uh, out three wide now. Popular Lass in the centre. Even wider best report and perfect missed. But past the quarter on the side now. Leaving the back and nuclear bound still going OK. Two metres to Joan of Arc. Sky Racer looks a big place chance. Wider out is best report and then perfect missed. But wheeling and nuclear bound in control at the moment. He goes for it. Sky Racer out is the danger from perfect missed. Wider out Joan of Arc and best report. 
Nuclear Bound holding on from Sky Racer, grabbing it. Sky Racer coming home all over the top of Nuclear Bound and gets there on the post to beat him. Third will be best report. Perfect miss, popular last. Joan of Arc couldn't come on. Prince Rennie disappointing from Bijou's best and Winsome Mickey. Sky Racer's gone up here, number one, to uh, beat Nuclear Bound and best report. Sky Racer with the uh, good sit behind Nuclear Bound has got out at the top of the straight here and uh, worried the uh, front runner Nuclear Bound out of it. So David Hewitt, successful driver here on number one Sky Racer at uh, 840 and 250 on Super Tab has defeated the favourite two Nuclear Bound at money back a dollar and seven best report has uh, held third at 260. Sky Racer, a uh, consistent uh, type of pacer. He's found it hard to break through in recent times. But he had this lovely run today behind the uh, leader, Nuclear Bound. And I guess he's got up to win probably a neck, even a metre on the line to Nuclear Bound with best report running on out wide for third. So David Hewitt, one of our top drivers in this district from the uh, Crookwall area. And on Crookwall Pacing Cup Day, only, uh, only uh, proper, I suppose, that David Hewitt would uh, win a race here with his three-year-old Sky Racer. One, two, seven there at uh, Canberra on race number three. And uh, the two was the favorite there. Now at Rose Hill, moving out here for race number two and uh, Magic Feather at $1.90. Now just a bit of information in regard to Rather Proud. It is in commission at $8.80. It is from the Stapleford Stable. It's coming off a win at Wyong last start. Just to let you know that it has, um, the jockey has been given uh, different riding instructions for um, this four-year-old gelding. He's been um, advised to ride this gelding back in the race. He's normally a front runner, but he has been advised to ride well back. So uh, if you're on it, just uh, different riding instructions today. Long grods for the others, but Magic Feather, Len Beasley for uh, the Moore Stable, is the one the, run, uh, the punters are uh, backing. The three-year-old colt will jump from barrier four. Uh, it, Took out its barrier trial at Rose Hill Gardens. Hasn't raced since the 25th of March. Gunnadar Divis, 145, Dynamic Dude 26170 over Golden Jim and Kite Flyer. The Quinella $3 trifecta, $26.50. Now, a Chuga to follow Rose Hill Gardens. Candlelight Lane at uh, 15. Fran Moore, three dollars and ninety cents. With uh, Jugar's fortune, four dollars and ten cents. Little Seabass at forty. Miss Ashanti, twenty-eight. Pin Dignant, three thirty. Smile with Style, fifteen. Nine twenty. The twelve and more lives at thirteen. Adam Sips, he's going for the three. Fran Frandor from the nine and the five. Moving out here at uh, Rose Hill Gardens over the uh, 1100 metres for race two. Here's Terry for the call. Magic feather out of that good mare, Mother Duck. Lenny Beasley riding. Lenz had, I think, 52 winners for the season. And of course, his greatest success as a jockey here, winning the Golden Slipper on Belle de Shore. Now we're waiting on in order Nate, to move in. Sire Ran, who gets back and really can sprout wings. Backmarkers got home quickly in the previous, with Sale of Century putting up a terrific performance to win. Now Lady Poe is about to move in. Captive Empress to come up in order Nate to move in. Here's Sire Ran coming up with Captive Empress. They move in almost as one. Magic Feather is well drawn. He has the Cerise, Lilac Stars and uh, Sleeves. And on the toad at $1.90. Not a great deal of support for any horse in the race to beat him. In fact, it's nearly double figures, the rest of them. Second and third Alex. Now they're ready. The light is on. 
And the gates are back. Magic Feather bounced quickly. Bly County out of the gate fast and Ripple showing speed. Bly County leads from Ripple, Magic Feather and Windsquall on the fence. In order, Nate settles fifth from Charlie Horse, Sire Rand, Oakfield Lass. Rather Proud is wide going forward. They were followed by Knockdown Power. Sire Rand got checked there, passed by Better Succeed, then Carpdiff Empress, Extra Solid and Lady Poe. Bly County leads Ripple. They're putting on the speed at the 600 mark. Magic Feather is outside of Wind Squall. One away in order, Nate, then Charlie Horse on the fence. Rather Proud is wide from Oakfield Lass. Well back is Knockdown Power, Better Succeed. Sire Rand, Extra Solid, Lady Poe and Carpdiff Empress in the straight. Bly County leads the way by a length on Ripple. Magic Feather into the clear. Three out of his good enough. Two lengths away. Wind Squall. Charlie Horse. Lady Poe from a mile back with rather proud. Magic Feather moved up and had raced to the front at the 200 metres mark now. He got away from Bly County. Wind Squall and running on Charlie Horse. Sire ran from the back screaming home when it's all over but Magic Feather's too good. Sire ran will get up and run second but uh, Magic Feather has won it. I think Sire ran second. Not sure third. Charlie Horse uh, back to the fence, Wind Squall and Bly County the centre. Nothing between that three for third. Then came Knockdown Power, Carpdiff Empress, Ripple, Rather Proud, Extra Solid, Oakfield Last, Better Succeed, Lady Poe, and in order eight but the tail enders. Magic Feather, perfect run. Fourth, one out, one back to use harness racing terminology. Dashing quickly at the 250 mark. Beasley, 150 out, has a little peek over his shoulder to the inside. And uh, this son of magic ring out of Mother Duck has raced home to win and win very comfortably, trained by Kim Moore. And looked a treat in the yard too, looked very forward to win first up after a short break away from the track. And pays on the New South Wales TAB 190 and 130. Sire ran, dead set unlucky, lost valuable ground after going 300 metres, has run second. And Charlie Horse, given every chance, has finished third. 136 the numbers. Magic Feather, three-year-old chestnut colt by Magic Ring out of Mother Duck and is raced by G and Mrs. C. Bonacordo in company with L. Ellis and J. Yee, trained by Kim Moore, ridden by Lynn Beasley. Good on you, Terry, thank you. Moving in well here at Echuca for uh, race number three with the nine pin Dignant on top here over Dugar's Fortune. Well, Capital, the sort of day that gives us such a bad reputation around the country weather-wise and uh, I guess it's about one degree light rain falling but uh, not too bad a crowd in spite of all of that for uh, Cookwall pacing cup day and the gates about to get ready for race four on super tab shifty lass down the bottoms favorite at about three dollars twenty and fearless fella resuming from a spell for Glenn Frost is in the market at four dollars twenty they are moving up now for uh, race four today Race four on uh, Crookwall Pacing Cup Day. Very bleak conditions. Visibility not all that good, to be honest, as the uh, rain falls and uh, a mist starts to settle in. Gate comes towards the corner. The race four, they're set. Light, very conspicuous on top of the gate as the starter lets them go and fearless fella has uh, come out quickly, is going to head off out for fun in the early bit. Wider out, Keystone Mariner away safely for Cario. Is well served, Campbell Will King is wide. Very wide on the track, Lady Lane, Jack's Lane away nicely from Aussie Adam and Shifty Lass. On settling and fearless fella, first up for 15 months. Glenn Frost has him in front. Shows out from out for fun on his back. Keystone Mariners made ground out wide and uh, even wider after a wide early trip, Campbell Will King is trying to go up to face the breeze. Brewmaster inside of Vicario, then Jax Lane inside of uh, Lady Lane who's wide on the track. Second last is Aussie Adam and Shifty Lass, the last of them. At the 1100 now, getting to the side of the course and in front fearless fella joined now by campbell will king out for fun is third brewmaster back on the pegs and in the center keystone mariner lady lane on a limb three wide onto his back now goes jacks lane vicario shuffled to third last from shifty lass in an awful spot second last the inside of aussie atom bell ringing now 850 out and fearless fella 15 months since he's had a start but he's in front quarters of 31 3 and 31 7 out of the straight he goes over 
Campbell Will King and Lady Lane has had a hard run behind them out for fun. In the centre, Keystone Mariner with a ride home three wide. It's Jack Slane back on the inside, Brewmaster. Ozzy Adam out onto the back of Jack Slane for a ride home. Vicario is second last and Shifty Lass and the three wide train is last. But 500 to go now, Fearless Fella, how's his condition? He's out three metres to out for fun. Campbell Will King in the centre. Lady Lane still uh, trying to battle on. Here's Jack Slane out wider with Brewmaster in the centre and wider still Aussie Adam. Shifty Lass has got a lot of ground to make up as they leave the side now. 300 to go and Fearless Fella a metre in front of Jack Slane getting to second. Out for fun behind them. Wider out Aussie Adam running on and Shifty Lass the widest runner but in the straight Fearless Fella the front runner trying to get him Jack Slane. Little Aussie Adam running on. Fearless Fella in front. Aussie Adam putting in the big strides. Aussie Adam coming at him and got there. Aussie Adam got up to beat Fearless Fella. Third might be Jack Slane in front of Shifty Lass. Out for fun. Is close up. Then Vicario. Campbellwell King. Brewmaster. Lady Lane weakened and so did Keystone Mariner. Aussie Atom too good there at 6.40, over Fearless Fella. Rose Hill Gardens there at the barrier here for race number three. Say good morning, 4.50. Grumpy's $5.10, Stormont $5.30, Katasa at $5.50. And longer odds for the others. So the top weight carrying 57 kilos from Barrier 5 with Dan Beasley in the saddle for Gay Waterhouse is on top. And then Achuka for race number four. Bannister Lanes are scratching. Brugel Dancer is $5.50, Cold Snap. 770 general feel good two dollars forty let's see what else is in commission the four is the favorite there we head down to rangatani 32 tawonga 13 midnight chimes at seven a right stuff four dollars and ninety cents and at a chuka the uh, tips from adam at four thirteen and twelve canberra nine three and eight got third there Canberra race number four. Okay, say good morning, 472, Grumpy, 520, Storm on 540, Katasa 580. The last of the runners has moved in and the light is on. Rich Sound, the inside gate, and they're all set to jump now. Third of the day from Rose Hill Gardens, 1300 metres. They stand as one. And the gates are back. They've come away in a fair line. Stormont went back after the start with better succeed. Rich Sound away quickly. Ludlam showing speed and burning forward. Say good morning. Say good morning inside Ludlam. Vi for the front. Third is uh, going quickly now in search around Raramanta size on the fence. Rich Sound. They were followed by Kaitusa wide from Prince Zero. Centre field on the inside of Sir Carber and Gondola wide out. Then better succeed Grumpy and two links to Stormont. Coming down the side, 800 metres to go and in search whipped across and dashed to the front. Led two links, say good morning, a half away Ludlam. Two links romanticise inside Kaitusa. One and a half in the field then to making ground very quickly on the fence is Rich Sound. Out wide Gondola, Prince Zero in the centre. Then came Better Succeed, Sir Carver, Grumpy, and a long way back, about four lengths away, Stormont as they turn the bend. In the straight, in search leads the way, say good morning under a grip after it. Coming out wide on the track, running on fairly, then as Ludlam and Prince Zero is going through in the centre. And here's Kai Tusa with the blue cap. Say good morning in front, Kai Tusa after it from Prince Zero. It's Kai Tusa ranging up at the 150 and going to the front from Say Good Morning. Prince Zero on the inside fighting on Will, but Kai Tusa opening up and is spreading away. Kai Tusa.